Hey, Quarter Mall members, Andrew checking in this week, and I want to, we want to show you the importance of fixing your ball marks on the green correctly. Uh, so this week, we're going to demonstrate what it looks like to not fix a ball mark, to fix a ball mark incorrectly, and then what happens if you fix it correctly. Uh, so we're out here on our golf course nursery, and I have three ball marks. And like we said, we're going to leave this ball mark for next week, and we're not going to even touch it. So you can see what it looks like if we don't repair it. Then we're gonna have the middle one, we're gonna repair it incorrectly. And then the third one, we're gonna repair correctly and show you next week what they look like. So again, not touching this one. A lot of times golfers, they come in to fix their ball mark and they dig the, the divot tool in and they pull it straight up like that. And what that does, when you tap it down, it leaves this nice little dirt patch, uh, which is not fixing the ball mark correctly because you're gonna have all these little skid marks. What you need to do is come from the back end of the, the, the ball mark. So if the ball comes in this direction, come in from the back and do a twisting motion with your divot tool. Uh, doing this twisting motion is gonna get the grass to kind of intertwine and it's gonna grow back uh, correctly. And then you tap it down and it leaves a nice level playing surface for the next golfer. Uh, so we'll come back next week and show you the one that wasn't fixed, the one that was fixed incorrectly and the one that we just fixed correctly. Uh, to give you an example of what it looks like uh, and what the playing conditions are if you fix these things correctly. So just a reminder, when you're out there playing golf, make sure you fix your ball marker and then fix another one. That way we're leaving the golf course better than you found it. Thanks for watching.